dominating with high ping and Kai Modal featuring Hanzu. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Our internet service provider had a nationwide slow browsing issue, and there's not much we can do to fix it on our own. I tried using data connection, but it wasn't as fast as my Wi-Fi, so I was struggling to get inside the game at first, but when I managed to hop on a ranked game, I noticed my ping was a lot higher than usual, which caused me to lose a lot of my gunfights and made the game just not fun. Okay. So I decided to call it a day and go for a walk to clear my head. When I got home, a random thought crossed my mind. I realized that not everyone is lucky enough to have access to stable internet, but that doesn't yep. stop them to play the game and exactly. find ways to have fun and kill some time. So let me ask you, are you a player who struggles in this with lag every single Are you guys, do you guys deal with lag? But I'm also going to say he's right. And also mobile gaming does help a lot of people who can't afford a console or a PC and it lets them actually experience gaming. Um, and not everyone can have stable internet. Not everyone can afford all these high expensive items even like an expensive phone like they, they only can ex for afford a an android um and they can't really afford a console or a pc so they play call of duty mobile call of duty mobile is actually you get the experience of call of duty on the phone and, it, and it's an actually a super good game it's actually treated better there's there is a lot of microtransactions but it's actually treated better than modern warfare 2 than warzone 2 it's consistently updated every single month. You're getting a new battle pass every single month. There's new skins to buy. There's always new maps coming out. It, Call of Duty Mobile is an amazing game. If they had this on PC and console, it would dominate every single year. It, the year I understand the year re, uh, releases on PC and console, but still, this is actually making it so players can keep playing the game. And it's been Call of Duty Mobile has been around for a very long time. But um, yeah, guys, do you guys play on stable connection? You guys can put that in the comments. But let's get into it. Hey, don't worry because I asked Hanzu, a COD Mobile content creator who's known for being better than Cisco, uh, uh, I mean for nuking Garena players with okay. different guns like it's a normal day in the office. But Hanzu said that he moved to a new place a couple of months ago where Wi-Fi and data connections are slow because of the place or region he lives in. Okay. You can only pass the login screen if it's around midnight and he would normally play on 80 to 120 milliseconds being wow. 60 milliseconds ish the lowest if he's lucky enough which okay. caused him to slow down on making content. And today we will show you how Hanzu deals with lag while being able to keep up in ranked and reach legendary every season but no matter how you play there's no real way of substituting a good connection to let you play the same as a person who plays on 20 ping because okay. at the end of the day you need a good internet connection to play hanzu's first tip is pretty simple don't rush and play passively ping is a measure of latency which is the time it takes for a packet of data to travel from your computer to a server and back exactly. a high ping means that the data is taking longer to travel which can cause problems Dang. in your gaming experience like desync and delayed response time if you try to push enemies around the map with high ping there's a chance that they will see you even if you can't see them and this is because of desync that's crazy did you see that did you see that how he he didn't even see the guy and he died that's insane that happens to me sometimes situation on your device is not synchronized with the server which causes problems like hit registration issues teleporting in matches and more that's why we suggest you to hold angles preferably with a good cover or head glitch since this is one of the most effective ways to fight lag and you won't have to worry about moving from one cover to another without the risk of getting damaged or killed even if you just got in a safe place exactly and also it's helping the device when you're moving it uses more internet because you're moving around the map and that your internet has to process more. But if you're staying in the same place, yes, the players will be moving, but you'll be kind of staying in the same place. So your internet will take less. Um, it'll, it'll actually keep your melt like your total, like if you're like moving, maybe you're getting like 110 milliseconds. But if you're actually standing still, you might be at 70 because you're not like using the server. You're not moving around and all that type of stuff. I'm not like technical with this. I'm just giving you guys my opinion on it. And I think that's, a, that's how it works. But I'm by, I might be completely wrong, but yeah dead silence and try to walk whenever you can so you won't attract your enemy's attention and catch them off guard. I know this sounds counterproductive from the first tip, but if you think that playing in a passive way isn't your style okay. and you want to keep the action going by rushing enemies like Hanzu does, then this tip might be for you. Always okay. pre-aim or pre-fire places where enemies would usually show up to as it mm. helps you compensate for the delay that you're currently experiencing. Pre-aiming and pre-firing in general is already a good habit to have as it helps you react and align Ooh. your shots to your target faster. When you pre-aim, you're basically predicting where an enemy might show up and you're aiming down sights on a spot before you actually see a target. This means that you only have to press the fire button when you do see an enemy without adjusting your aim that much compared to when not pre-aiming. 
Pre-firing is a similar technique, but instead of just aiming at an enemy's precision, you have to start shooting before you- This is definitely a must. You, if you're on high ping, you definitely need to pre-fire. Because if you're on high ping, you better start that register, like you better register on the server that you're shooting before, because if, if your register is late because you have high ping, you're gonna die every single time. So pre-firing angles is a must with high ping. See them. This can be very helpful because it can sometimes take a few milliseconds for the server to register your shots. By pre-firing, your shots are already on the way by the time the enemy appears on your screen. Even if you do everything right, you still have to keep in mind that pre-aiming or pre-firing doesn't guarantee you a free kill. You have to expect that your enemy might move in the least expected way and your shots might register too late because of how slow your connection is. For Hanzu's third tip, he said that it is easier to deal with high ping and search and destroy because of how slow paced the game mode is. You want to isolate 1v1s only like what Hanzu does here and not take any gunfights when you're outnumbered because there's a high chance that you're always going mm. to get traded by their teammate. If you're okay. going to play a respawn game mode like hardpoint, we suggest you to stick on doing OBJ and anchor spawn points for the team since you want uh. your enemies to push you while you have cover and not the other way around. Makes sense. And this is where the next tip comes in handy. Hanzu's fourth tip is to use guns with large mag sides to try using the CBR4, Chopper, Holger 26, RPD and the Hades or any high fire weapon with a high mag capacity. That makes sense. That makes sense. You want to use weapons with a high fire rate. So basically you can um, keep firing and if, even if it doesn't register a couple shots, it'll register most of them because if you run out of the mag, it doesn't register your shots and you don't keep firing, the other person's going to kill you. It makes complete sense why he gave you this uh, tip, guys away from slow fire weapons like the man of war u0736 and the sks as you will struggle on registering shots even on high fire rate weapons what i personally heck? choose the holger 26 if i happen to find myself playing at a slow connection again and play the game as if it's the no russian mission from modern warfare 2. remember that these are all just suggestions from us and it's still up to you what gun you want to use here are the builds of the weapons that i mentioned and feel free to pause okay so the, all these weapons, hey, they're all As LMGs. For Hanzu's fifth tip, upgrade your Wi-Fi. That's the best tip. Yep. What's your average ping? Comment it down below. Of course, you have to have the best weapons in the game to combat high ping. You can check out the top 10 guns for season seven right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Um, Yeah, high ping is, is bad and he's right. Just upgrade your internet. And I know, but you guys, some of you guys can, but follow these tips, guys. Follow, definitely follow these tips. <laughs>